So hello guys and welcome back to an episode Suji here as usual so once again another week without a rest past and I am back to grinding out our you know the whatever stuff we are actually grinding out but uh, yeah anyways uh, what I am trying to say is that I got a few daily challenges you know lined up and you know in my way uh, starting off with the first one which is runecrafting one I just finished doing it and actually I will be able to teleport sooner than later and cash it in I'm not entirely sure if it, I think it gives something like 64k so we want to get like 2k more XP before I teleport out so I don't fail on the level because you as you guys can see we will be getting a runecrafting level which will be level 100 so yeah, also I've been uh, reading the, your guys' comments on my last episode where I asked if you guys had any, you know, ideas on how, you know, what should I do for episode 100 and quite a few of you said that I should do a montage or whatever like of my favorite moments and saddest moments I guess in these years but sadly I don't actually have all the clips recorded so I can't really do that and I I, I, th I guess I could do you know something like you know watching back all my old videos but that would like honestly take so long so I guess I'm not going to do that I will still figure something out and you know few of you guys uh, offered uh, another you know things that want to see in that video so I might you know uh, file all the suggestions up and think about something you know that would be worth the episode but yeah now we are 64k away from this level so you know what I will get like 200 more XP because I know for sure that it gives 64k so yeah let's teleport now for you know first of all to get this room crafting level come on NXT load quicker and this should be the level yes you'd always give 67k i guess i was wrong but yeah there we go for 100 room crafting for the starters guys and now it's actually two and three rotations for a raxor and i really want to go and do it before the reset happens you know so uh, yeah i guess i'm gonna start with some raxor if i will get something i will make sure to record it as usual and tomorrow is going to be the last day of rotations two and three so you know what hashtag good luck suji in the chat not chat in the comments so i can get the stupid web out of the way and other than that enjoy the rest of the episode guys okay well this is not a raxor yet but i'm still doing my dailies actually and i didn't check any levels that i was close to i guess so yeah there we go for another level another 100 actually in a row which uh, this one is this time is actually fishing so yeah there we go for 100 fishing and my fucking rock tail depleted of course because i am recording as usual okay so someone tried to be extremely funny and you know being a spastic, they are the you know you know woke beastmaster. Literally came with beastmaster to me and tried to get me killed, but it didn't work out. So fuck them. But let's get the loot anyways. Nothing from the first one and nothing from the second one. And the random elite casket coming in. So the reward is 512k. Not bad at all. I guess prayer potion seeds. I, every time I get seeds, I said you know many times that i'm happy with the clue uh but yeah now uh let's get back to raxor i guess well crap once again i was not expecting that i'm just doing my daily art contracts guys and yeah we hit 100 level 100 crafting so that's nice i guess another level 100 we only have like what one oh, well construction is 200k away so we will be getting that in a few days because i do my jacker trade orders on construction now so let's just say one two three four five six six uh, seven sk uh, skills that we have you know that are still at level 99 so we need to get those levels up so you know it everything looks above 100 i guess Okay, so I was just doing my daily Raxor, guys. I did three kills and I managed to freaking uh, misclick on a cleave and I got signed. So, you know, there's obviously no way I am risking full hour of a Raxor without a sign. So, uh, I guess I'll just wait out the sign and wait until my aura refreshes and we do, you know, some more kills before the reset happens in hopes of getting something. But other than that, though, I did uh, finally manage to open myself some prone. Uh, pro from brokers no uh you know those green uh, yellow balls you get for when you are fishing so i opened you know them and i actually managed to get myself that chest treasure chest token i think it's called or whatever and i managed 
to put it in my house, you know, in POH. And I can now finally claim myself a weekly elite clue, which I was supposed to do ages ago, but I kind of forgot. So yeah, I did get myself this elite clue, which I have in the bag right now. And actually, now that I think about it, I need to go ahead and unlock Skeletal Horde, I think it's called. So, you know, that way I will be able to get two elite clues every Wednesday. But other than that, we are able to reroll this clue. So let's open it without any overdue. What a horrible first reward, 182k, so reroll obviously, and uh, yeah, sure, 100k once again, and 146k, this is a freaking horrible reward, honestly, although 70 elite clues completed. And we're coming in with another virtual level actually, guys, so let's catch this one, and there we go, level 104 hunter, so 16 more levels for this one getting closer every day I guess because as I said previously I am doing hunter spots every day and I, I am kind of enjoying it I guess uh, currently I have my charted uh, my flagged island is actually with the two wobble gong spots one hunt uh, one farming and one divination so if I could you know somehow get an uh, island with two hunter spots that would be freaking amazing okay guys so it's been literally almost like Two weeks uh, already since I completed my Wildy Diaries and I actually haven't you know yet claimed my Elite Diary rewards I guess because Wildy was freaking packing so you know I guess and someone was actually following me and I you know I uh, wanted to claim my rewards first but my friend was scouting for me but yeah just before you know a uh, shout out to my friend Mart right here he scouted for me and helped me to get to Mage Bank and actually you know before we clicked the lever there was a fucking scout literally next to the bank like it's freaking crazy like how dedicated I guess are people for killing other people even though it's like what would I, well obviously they would have got my, you know, broadcast I guess if they killed me, but yeah, there we go, you see, this this person right here was scouting outside the bank, you know, waiting I guess for people, but anyways, I have no idea how much these uh, lamps give, but we finally have claimed the wilderness sword for and it does look pretty freaking nice, I wish there was an offhand to be honest, you know, so you could at least keep sake it then, but other than that, we have these lamps, I don't know how much XP they give, 95, how much this one, Okay, so this will actually be a construction level for me. That's why I wanted to record this in the first place. So that is another level 100 construction this time, obviously. And now we only have six more skills that are only at level 99 left. Okay, and that's another word to a level and another level 100 at the same time, obviously. So yeah, doing myself daily DG challenge currently. So I'm gonna finish that one and we will be back with an hour of Raxer. Okay, so what I want to do right now actually is, it's, as you guys can see, it's currently IOWORTH hour and during this hour it's actually increased chance, you know, um, when you are opening the crystal keys to get a better loot or something like that. So, uh, if you guys remember, I still need to complete Elf, uh, you know, City Elite Diary and to complete that one I actually need an Elder Seed. So you can get Elder Seed either from killing shape shifters or by, you know by opening crystal keys so in my bank currently i have 170 crystal keys as well as 150 each of tooth and lube half of the key so that's another 150 keys if i need to make so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and open 170 of these keys and we will see if we can get lucky on that elder seed no fucking way <laughs> i this is literally my second trip i opened 16 keys and i grabbed 15 more so it took me 26 crystal keys for elders for elder seed uh yeah i guess there's no point for me to continue opening now at least for now because yeah fuck yeah we can now go ahead and complete the uh, elite uh, elf diary whenever you know the tree is actually grown up guys Okay, so more racks or guys, first kill of the day coming in and it's grimy land at times. And kill number two. <laughs> Literally yesterday as well, I on my second kill I got two onyxes, so god that is fucking lovely. And that is kill number three as well for onyx bolts. And another one to the bag, Cyrenic scales, lovely. Okay, so this is actually another little milestone for a Raxor for us, guys, because I think it should have uh, registered, I guess, by now, or do I need to leave the course? Because 
There we go, guys. 500 Araxor kills. This is freaking insane. So 500 Araxor kills and we still don't have an Oxet. Oh man, you know what? Even if I don't get anything this hour, I will still, you know, include this clip, I guess, because I do want, you know, to record every threshold and whatnot. So yeah, the 500 Araxor loot is... Back to back to Serenic Scales, so we will definitely take that. And now let's finish off the remaining two kills. Hey, you guys, we are coming in with Armorial Boots number two for our connection, a co collection, I guess, simply because we do have those. Actually, I have them equipped right now. But yeah, you might be wondering what am I doing at Armadil right now? And I'm just ranging for a bit because I want to get this Armadil chest plate for level ten, uh, nine so I can disassemble it for. Armadil components because if you remember earlier I said that I still don't have precise 5 on my scythe so I feel like I kind of should get it because I have augmented scythe and I don't have really you know any good perks on it so uh, yeah I'm actually almost you know done with it I guess I don't know how much XP is between level uh, 8 and level 9 because I am already level 8 pretty much so I will quickly get this you know armadil chest plate and I will get that perk that I want but other than that another drop would be nice you know maybe a unique uh, actually that I don't have armadil gloves would be perfect to be honest but other than that let's just continue killing this stupid bird well the <laughs> I guess there we go for another chest plate that we will be able to I guess augment and disassemble for more armadil components but yeah anyways uh drops wise this is my armadil chest plate number three so ah uh, yeah fuck me guys another item what is with these uh duplicates though fuck's sake coming in with another armadil helm which is number three for me as well come on man i need freaking gloves but uh yeah, I guess the journey continues. Uh, still not, uh, Armadil Chestplate is still not level 9, by the way. So, yeah, let's continue doing this stuff. And look at all these fucking free items in my inventory from these uh, 46 minutes. Well then, this just doesn't end, does it? Even though this is an effigy, but really, really nice drop as well. Okay, I'm not sure if this will be enough. It actually is, yes. Uh, yeah guys, so I got my armadil chest plate to level 9 already, but I stayed because I was really close to getting my HP levels, uh, so yeah, there we go, I guess, for uh, HP level, the 108 HP coming in, guys, so at this level we are left with only 12 more levels till our first master cape, I guess, but for now I'm gonna finish off this, quail, uh, this skill quickly and we'll teleport out to get... Uh, you know, to break that armadil chest plate to get another level and to make that precise 5 and add it to my uh, noxious scythe. And there we go, lovely, the trip is now finished, I guess, yes. Uh, I know I could, I could be leveling to level 10 for more XP, but I don't really care about invention XP simply because I am going to get 120 slash 2 mil easily. So yeah, let's just, you know, disassemble it for the beautiful four armorial components, lovely, as well as a 105 invention. So, oh, nice, more charge drain reduction and young chance reduction, that, those ones are amazing. So. Now I guess we're only left with two more levels till that uh, luck of the dwarves and 15 more levels till 120 I guess. Uh, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and get myself that precise 5 perk I was talking about. And yes I know that currently there is you know that precise 4 equilibrium 2 perk. But that one is kind of rare and I don't have the resources to get it right now. I am most likely going to get it in the future but not just now I guess so... Yeah, let's just go ahead and make precise 5, I guess. Uh, do I have any of the weapon thingies? Yes, I do, actually. So, yeah, there we go. Let's grab our scythe. Where is it? Add. I do have six armadil components, actually. So, I have one extra. So, I guess I will be able to augment that armadil chest plate that I just got and break it for another, you know, precise 5 for my Noxus uh, uh, longbow when I actually do get it. So yeah, there we go. First attempt, obviously, because it's 100% added to the site, and there we go. So now we only need to get aftershock, and yeah, we will have a solid, you know, tier 90 melee weapon, I guess. 
Okay guys, so I just completed another daily dungeoneering challenge, so if we can cash it in, it's time for another DG level, so yeah, there we go for level 102 dungeoneering, nothing new at this one, and this leaves us with 18 more levels till 120, only 18 levels. <laughs> Okay, so it's time, up. you know, it's about time that we end this episode actually because I checked the clips guys and I already have over 15 minutes worth of the episode. So uh, yeah, but before I finish, I wanted to get this last level. So if we can cash in this contract, this should be another cooking level first of all. So we are coming in with level 102 cooking. So uh, yeah, I guess it's worth mentioning that during May, I missed out on cooking quite a lot because of the fairy event or whatever like I pretty much haven't done any of the happy hours I I guess in total I haven't done even 10 hours is why I'm what I'm trying to say so you know during this month I was I could have gotten like 30 million cooking XP like not pure 30 million but 30 million in this scale specifically but anyways enough about cooking for now it's just 18 levels till 120 but other than that what I realized that currently, you know, like why I am while I am playing on this my you know account, I don't really you know have a goal. So what I decided what I will do, I think uh, I thought of myself a goal that I want to work on right now is, and that goal is actually completion escape. So I think what I will do from now on, I will continue you know actively working on completion escape, which means I will be doing completion escape requirements, and I want to finish off God Wars One armor sets simply because I want to go ahead and start training Slayer because I can make myself an augmented. Uh, noxious staff with which i am able to make slayer and hopefully we'll be getting more hills soon and yeah you know to obviously to slay it properly i need those tier 70 armors so you know because they don't degrade that uh, degrade and whatnot so you know we need to get the slayer grind started because you know manafoss is getting released and slayer will be 120 soon officially so uh, yeah i thought i would mention that before i wrap up this episode but other than that as usual i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i will see you in the next one so take care guys